Congratulations, the Vietnam national soccer team's great achievement. And my name is Hyun Seok, David Shin, Vice President of SK Holdings CNC. I'm in charge of a cloud business in SK Group. Today, I'm going to talk about JetCP, CloudJet Container Platform. CloudJet is the SK Group's cloud brand. The meaning is A to Z, complete cloud. Today's title is Why JTCP is the Platform for Enterprise. What and how? Before to start, I'm going to tell you about cloud business overview in Korea. I believe in most countries is a similar situation. Public cloud market is skyrocketing backed by cloud migration and digital transformation trend. And public cloud is matured for digital native companies, such as gaming and e-commerce, unicorn startups, and now as enterprises moving to adopting cloud-first strategy. This year, 2019, Korea public cloud spending was almost 1 billion US dollars, and it is projected it could be $1.7 billion in 2023, 17.3% CAGR. So it was started from the digital native companies, but is moving to large enterprises. That's the trend. SK Group is the second largest conglomerate in Korea. Our total revenue volume was 142 billion US dollars in 2017. And recently, we announced cloud spending $2.6 billion for three years. And SK Holding CNC is leading this project on top of CloudJet platform. Yeah, this is the newspaper. So, Cloud Maturity Level 1, some of you are familiar with this concept, is moving on-premise to public cloud EAS. It's a starting from assessment and planning and EAS architecting. This was good for the digital native companies, but enterprise, they need something different. Enterprise doesn't have much bursting, most of their capacity, so just moving is an EAS approach, lift and shift approach, it doesn't enough for them. So they need something different one. Maturity level two is need some kind of a platform and application modernization is a driver for large enterprises. So in order to do application modernization, is that there are three key elements, DevOps, is necessary, and the microservice architecture and container is necessary to develop application modernization. But the difficulty is, the problem is, container is really hard to monitor and manage. That's the reason why Kubernetes appeared to handle those kind of containers handling. Automation is deployment, scaling, operation of containers across clusters, that is necessary. It's because enterprise customer needs something value, time to market, agility, cost innovation. So these kind of things must be going with application modernization. So the container is the key driver for enterprise application modernization. Traditionally, Hybrid cloud means was a base, very basic concept. For example, web apps on public cloud and the storage on on-premise, physical network connection, that was a hybrid in most cases. But enterprise, just to do kind of a physical connection, it's not enough, it's not necessary. So they need something more. So container can do the role. Container, you know, container contains code, library, and package, it could be run on any environment. It could move freely from AWS, Azure, on-premise, 
those kind of a thing can fulfill the dream of a hybrid and multi-cloud. So many enterprises want container, but container itself is not enough. Let me give you a little bit explanation about container. Container has many benefits. Container is lighter than BM. It puts within seconds, very quickly, independent on any operating system. Packages all of things, so it can move freely to any environment. So the portability between any infra, so it's really good. Best fit for microservices. And it can shorten software deployment life cycle. So it's really good for cloud. However, what if the container number is more than 100, 1,000, 10,000, and more? Who monitors the status of all containers? Who can integrate network and storage services? It's not the easy job. How can add or remove containers? How can deploy microservices on containers? This is a big problem. Technically, really roadblock to moving to the application modernization. So that's the reason why Kubernetes came in. Kubernetes con con orchestrates containers. At this moment, Kubernetes is the de facto standard platform, I believe, I firmly believe. It can auto-deploy containers and load balancing between containers, and auto-healing when some containers fail, and integrate storage and network services. Those kind of things be by handled by Kubernetes. It's really, really good, best for, best for container. But the problem is Kubernetes itself is not enough, too, for Microsoft development and container development. Something needs more, DevOps tool chain, logging, monitoring, something like additional past features, who will handle those kind of issues? That's the problem. So that's a really good technology, but there is a couple of difficulties. So container itself, Kubernetes itself is not a path for enterprise. Need additional features. Think about is a managed Kubernetes is already in the market. Something AWS EKS, Azure EKS, whatever, IBM IKS is already there. But to leverage those kind of technologies is not that easy. So container platform for enterprise needs something. First one is past features. Who will provide DevOps tool chain, logging and monitoring, integrated account management? Who will provide those kind of features? Number one question. Second. Engineering competency, Kubernetes, containers, and related open source technology is not that easy. Not most of enterprise customers don't have those kind of techno technical competency. That's the issue. And successfully adopting those kind of platform, the real issue is how will you, how will they operate? It's really difficult. Some of you experience Kubernetes, you might agree, it's not that easy. So to, in order to save money of customers and reduce the time, some kind of a, something is needed. So another difficulty is, is Kubernetes is totally technically dependent to specific CSP. If you choose AWS, AWS technology, and Azure technology, IBM technology, architecture will be totally different. So too many questions is, comes up to your mind. When you're preparing something, which cloud will you use? Just to choose, just AWS, okay. So in that case, what, what kind of technical issues do you have to, in your mind? DevOps tool chain, logging, something, IAM, everything. It's too many architecture need to consider by yourself. And after that, operate and manage is another issue. It's not that easy. In order to operate, you need tons of money in terms of enterprise perspective. So 
cloud system integration cost a lot. And too many alternative architecture exist. So it wastes time to think about it. And complexity of technology definitely will be a threat to your operational st stability. The most important thing is enterprise wants digital transformation, not just the technology itself. So we experienced through real-world project on containers, and we learned how to solve these kind of a pain points. So we developed cloud JetCP. Remember JetCP. When we first start the project, left side is a scope of a path that enterprise think is a very small thing. They think this one, this might be needed. So, but what we really needed is to adopt Kubernetes Enterprises right side. There is a big gap exist. Cloud Jet CP can fill the gap. That is our beauty. So it can support container and Kubernetes adoption with ease of use for enterprise. Simplify technology burden on any CSP. We support multi-cloud multi and hybrid cloud over container and Kubernetes. We developed the cloud jet CP, as I mentioned, simplify all of cloud services, no SI effort. In order to use container platform on top of AWS, EKS, and every other AWS cloud native services integration, it takes time, it costs a lot. Pipeline logging, as I mentioned, and computing storage setting, it's a real headache. It's not that easy one. Just JetCP only can handle all of that. Another thing is, we deliver the same function all over the CSP. Adopt container without running curve. Just choose one, AWS, Azure, IBM, the same functionality. JetCP handle all of that. So this is the main feature. JetCP is a total platform. We leverage it. In the, in the market, there is a very good managed Kubernetes services of each CSP. For example, AWS EKS, Azure AKS, as I mentioned. On top of that, you need additional pass features, CI CD pipeline, console IAM, logging and monitoring, service catalog. We package all of that as a one single platform. So this is main main features. The benefit, we fully utilize managed Kubernetes. We didn't touch many Kubernetes. We so we inherit Kubernetes merit of CSP. And another thing is only in one pass features, all functions are embedded. That's a really important thing. And all functions are integrated and managed by SK. In order to develop. Everything is ready. Enterprise have a custom developer. In that case, only needs two days to develop over container. No SI effort. It's really cool. In some cases, enterprise want is a private cloud. So we prepared JetCP private. But today, I want to focus with the JetCP public. That is our the main service. And during doing some technical development and operation and technical services definitely needed. So we support the troubleshooting in development and operation stage. Kubernetes upgrade and patch is not a easy job. We do everything. Customers don't need to think about it. We do everything. And monitoring is key for container and Kubernetes itself is because Kubernetes generate thousands of metrics. Customer doesn't understand what that means. So we provide as a monitoring based on the predefined alert rule. This is this kind of a symptoms. You can handle this one. But we cover that. 
so provide automated alert notification. So we have already many references. SK Holdings CNC, as I mentioned, based on our revenue volume, we touch every enterprise in Korea. And so do we have a B2C and B2B, many references. In case of a B2C cases, SK Telecom is the number one mobile service provider in Korea. They needed something is a new technology to meet customer demand. Software deployment is um, in, the, in the daytime without disruption. So they wanted something container platform. So we provided for them. And the B2B, SK Hynix is a world number two semiconductor companies and so they leverage their data analytics platform on top of JTCP. And our digital platform of SK Group, JTCP is a cloud platform for digital platform. So the AI and the blockchain platform, just like Akamai, we have a chain jet, something like that. So, SK Group is all of digital platform is containerized. Blockchain, healthcare, data AI, and TV platform on top of JTCP. Cloud Jet container platform. Forget everything, but remember just one thing. JetCP, Cloud Jet container platform. You, you might hear many times after this event. It's because we will tell many times with the Vietnam customers and global customers as well. So we cover public cloud and private cloud. So this platform is for hybrid cloud and multi-cloud. Enterprise cloud strategies, hybrid and multi-cloud. So we fully maximize, match it, the enterprise need. That is the cloud jet CP. So I want to share digital asset and platform. We prepared this one and take this one, and you can directly connect through online with us after this event. And I want to, okay, so I, I want to the, say our chat CP to Vietnam market often. Think, come on, thank you. <laughs>